welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as it's my birthday on the 30th of June, I've decided to put together 30 random facts about me. So seeing as this is kind of like a fact about me, we're going to head straight into the second fact, which is I once ended up in a revolving door with a boy band called Blue. This was super, super weird and surreal. They were playing at the Mall at Chris Causeway and for some reason I ended up being stuck in the same division as the revolving door, as the boy band and their security guide and I was just kind of there part of it I don't know how that happened but it did number three is the fact that I have a cat named Gary he can do high five and he is named after the illegal immigrant from the only fools and horses Gary on to number four which is I have been in a four-year relationship with my current boyfriend I actually went to school with my boyfriend Josh and we never actually spoke to each other during school which is really weird and yeah here we are four years later somehow together yeah which maybe one day I'll speak more about in the future but for now on to fact number five I am a very creative person I've always been that way and kind. I love to draw, write songs, create YouTube videos, I love photography, listen to music, plan spontaneous trips, create desserts and it's the only thing that truly makes me feel empowered and uplifted. I can't explain why or how, it just makes me feel alive and at my best. I absolutely love being creative and it's something that I feel like is one of my stronger points. Number six, I went VIP meet and greet to a busted concert all by myself. Number seven, I have three tattoos. They are all down the same arm. I have two here, the sun and the moon and then I've got my balloons here which is dedicated to my dad. Number eight is the fact that I am not a very confident swimmer. I've just never really had that experience with swimming to be able to feel confident. I've never really been taught properly or anything like that. And now that I'm older, I am more aware of all the consequences that can happen in life. And it's just something that I fear kind of learning. It's just not something that I feel the most confident to learn. Number nine is a random fact. And that is the fact that I have a fear of oversized objects and not just like random objects, you know, like a giant strawberry or oversized stuff like that as such. It's more like, you know, cruise ships and two or three story airplanes, big massive buildings. Just the fact that it's that big, it's so overwhelming and overpowering to me. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes me feel, I, I don't know, I just have a fear of it. I just can't, can't, like, can't deal with it very well, as you can see now by my reaction to this. I don't know, like cruise ships, the fact that they're that big, it just blows my mind and it just, yeah. It just gives me pins and needles all over my body when I see it and like, I don't know. Yeah, just have a fear of them and I just, yeah, I just don't like them really. Another fear of mine is birds, in particular, seagulls, peacocks, chickens, anything that's kind of, you know, really out there, in your face, kind of, I don't know, annoying birds. I just, yeah, I just can't, I just can't be around birds. I feel sorry for anyone who is in the same room as me or in the same environment as me when I am having a phobia of birds, like a phobia attack, I guess, because it's just not a good sign. I have learnt to kind of deal with pigeons and you know that kind of stuff but just not really dealt with the whole situation in general so yeah I have a quite a big fear of birds really and I just don't know how how I'm dealing with that really. Number 11 kind of similar to like the bird fear I once fainted when a butterfly touched me on my shoulder just outright cold absolutely terrified I don't know why I fainted new experience for me but yeah woke up outside and last thing I can remember was something floating around on my shoulder and that was it, out cold. That was it, I was like, nope, time out, I can't do this, bye guys. <laughs> Number 12 is quite deep. I am my very own worst enemy. I'm sure this is like the case for a lot of you guys, but me, I am so cruel to myself, but so kind to so many other people. And I just wish I was more kinder to myself, but it's just not gonna happen anytime soon. And even though I do have that kind of, you know, relationship with myself where I do empower myself to make certain decisions and stuff like that, overall, I'm just a really, I'm just my worst enemy, really. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. So number 13, kind of similar to the previous one, I've had depression off and on now for almost, I would say about six years, ever since I was 15 years old, I kind of remember it starting from there. And yeah, it's just been something that has been off and on quite consistently and it's something that I'm learning to deal with day by day and as well as my family and people who are close to me they're kind of dealing with how I deal with that kind of situation and mood and it's just yeah I've kind of found balance with it it's kind of like a scale sometimes I'm like this sometimes I'm like that you know it just depends on what day and what's going on in my life at that time. Number 14 is the Isle of Wight is my favourite go-to escape. If I could go to one holiday destination in the world it would be that. I love it there, it's so secluded and so private and just, I don't know, I love the people there. I love that there's so much stuff going on around you, the views are lovely 
and there's so many hidden places in there yet that still I haven't quite discovered so I just love it it's so mysterious and it's just something about it that I just feel so attached to so yeah my favorite go-to place if you haven't been to Isle of Wight take your family there it's just yeah I highly recommend going there or taking a visit there because it's just you'll know once you've been there just yeah just go and see it number 15 is my favorite film so my favorite films has to be 13 Going On 30 and Cinderella Story. I can't quite separate the two, but both films have kind of inspired my life massively ever since I first watched them. I can never get bored of them. I just love them and I just can relate to them in like different ways really growing up. They're just cute, cozy, and yeah, they're just relatable, aren't they, in their own ways? Number 16 is I already have my future dog and children's names planned out. I am just, you know, really, very organised in that way in my life, I know what I want and that's what I want basically and I've had that planned out for like the past year, something I never thought I would be kind of saying, I never like kind of pictured my life this way but I'm planning it, you know, I'm just thinking about it and got it all figured out already so I don't need to stress about it in the future because I've got it written down on my notes on my phone so future's in my hands literally number 17 is i prefer baths compared to showers there's something just mindful about having a good old bath i just i don't know it's just so chilled and you've got bubbles and everything like that it's just very mindful i just love a good old bath it's just yeah it's just heaven isn't it so jumping straight into number 18 and that is i have always been a tomboy i've always been better paired with a group of boys i don't know what it is about it but i prefer the banter the light-hearted humor i don't know i just fit in a lot more compared to like a group of girls i don't know why it's just i've always been that way i've always been around a group of boys getting involved in like manhunt and climbing trees and things like that it's always been my kind of thing and my vibe i do have female friends but overall i'm more kind of like I feel like I fit in more of boys if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Number 19 is a YouTube fact and that is through insecurity and being my own worst enemy over the years I have probably deleted more videos on my channel than I've kept and that is really really sad and that is something that I will always regret on my channel because I just don't have that whole growth journey with my channel kind of just like very mismatched I have spent so much time money and effort on my channel building up and one thing I can never accept myself from doing is deleting these videos because honestly, I don't know why I did it. I don't have any excuse for it really other than the fact that I just maybe didn't like the way it looked. Very weird reasons by itself, I don't know. One time I even deleted a video because it hit 25,000 views within a week. And I was so embarrassed by the fact that so many people on YouTube watch my video and I just, I just felt really ashamed. I don't know why. I don't feel like that now. I've kind of outgrown that kind of stage in my life, but back then when I first started my channel that was so overwhelming to me felt like you know I was on TV and like everyone could see me around the world and yeah I deleted the video and you know I regret all these decisions that I made but it is what it is I've grown from it I've changed from it and I've learned from it so number 20 is I am a very motivational person I try my best to kind of pick people up give them the right sources and point them in the right direction in life as I said with the creativity part I feel very empowered by that and I love helping others. I, however, just wish I was more helpful and motivated towards myself to build myself up the way I build up others. That's something I really struggle with the most is encouraging myself. Number 21 is I have driven a boat before. It was the best experience, super, super fun, and I loved it. On to 22, and that is I have a level three extended diploma in photography. I qualified in 2016. It was a two year course at college. I just wish I had more time to spend there, but it is what it is got my qualification. I wish I had more time for photography, but I don't. Number 23 is the fact that I passed my driving test within 11 weeks from start to finish. Never looked into driving before at all. I just never had no interest in it. Something changed in my personal life and I just focused on it for 11 weeks straight, passed my test and, you know, I was over me with it. The circumstances on which I did that were, you know, very, very sad, but, you know, I'm very proud that I managed to get myself through that and in the end achieve something that, you know, meant so much to me at the time. On to 24 and that is, I used to shave my eyebrows super, super thin. I know that was a trend back in the day, but it took me around eight years to grow back. As you can see, my eyebrows now, all natural, no eyebrow product on them whatsoever. It's taken me so, so much time and patience to be able to get to the stage now and I will never look back I will never put a razor on my eyebrows or near my face ever again because that shit was crazy 
Number 25, and most people know this about me, but that is autumn is my favourite time of the year. There's just something cosy and warm about it, I can't explain it, but especially the autumn fashion, it's just my go-to. I'm obsessed with the autumn fashion. I love it. 26 is my favourite hot drink of all time, has to be a hot chocolate. By all means, it's my favourite hot drink. I love it. It's my favourite. Mm. Yummy. 27 is the fact that I've had braces twice. I don't actually have any physical pictures of me having braces the first time. I don't know why, but I just there just isn't any. I've looked everywhere that I can kind of find pictures and stuff like that from back in the day, but just nothing. It's like it never even happens. Number 28 is I have worked in a hospital environment for over four years. I love being around patients. I love being around that care environment. There's just something about it that just makes me feel homely and it just gives me a bit more purpose in my day-to-day -day working role. And compared to retail, it just gives you like a good feeling when you leave work, knowing that you've impacted someone's life in a positive way. So number 29 is my favorite color is blue baby blue as you can see I'm wearing it now it's my favorite color and I just yeah loved it it's been my color ever since I was a baby and it's kind of followed me up until now number 30 is the last fact about me and that is my favorite quote out of all time is even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise and that is something that has really positively impacted me ever since I figured out that quote ever since I found it and I'm a big lover of the star the sky you know the world planets and stuff like that I'm obsessed with all that kind of stuff it's also the reason behind the this tattoo here I do want to kind of get the quote written underneath it but that's going to come very soon but yeah this quote has been something that's kind of been an eye-opener for me in many different ways so yeah that one has really inspired me and yes yeah, my favorite my favorite one so that is my birthday special 30 random facts about me if you guys enjoyed watching this video please make sure to give this a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you've got anything else to say any comments questions or things like that please make sure you comment those in the comment section down below because i love to hear what you guys have to say and i love engaging with you guys in the comments as well i just love it it's my favorite part of being on youtube if you want to catch up with me when i'm not on youtube i do have an instagram and Twitter account, both of which are World of Chorus, so go check them out if you have the time and if you want to, obviously, no obligations there. So yeah, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.